Sister Patricia Fox has left the Philippines following the denial of her visa's extension. Amid criticism from the missionaries' supporters, Malacanang reminds the public that the law may be harsh, but it is still the law. Jen Kalimun has the story. Sister Patricia Fox has arrived in Melbourne after the Philippine Immigration Bureau ordered her to leave the country on November 3. International Filipino Workers Group Migrante prepared a hero's welcome for the Australian non. Hours earlier, the missionary was sent off by her supporters who got emotional while parting with a 72-year-old Australian at the airport. Masakit sa aming kalooban na pinalit si Sister Pat kasi 27 years siya, nagsilbi dito sa ating bayan at ngayon paaalisin. Bakit? Maraming foreigners dito, walang ginagawa. Pinagpapasasa ang ating mga resources. Napakasakit nung ginawa ni Pangulo sa amin. Napakasakit po. Kasi nakikita talaga namin kung paano niya kami minahal bilang mga Pilipino. Nakikita namin na yung, yung puso niya isang Pilipino at hindi isang dayuhan. Indeed, Fox says she has learned a lot from living in the Philippines for almost three decades. I have learned so much. And I've learned resilience, I've learned how to struggle, I've learned hope from the people here. And after the Bureau of Immigration denied extension of the non temporary visitor's visa, Fox admitted she is not yet sure where to go next. I haven't really planned because I really feel like an extension actually. So I haven't planned much, but I mean, I know that, you know, it's probably a call now to struggle with the people in a different form. Meanwhile, Malacanang took this as an opportunity to remind foreigners of their limited rights while staying in the country. The palace thanked the nun for the good deeds she performed in the country, along with a reminder that these do not exempt her from punishments imposed by law. Dura Lex said Lex after all. But Sister Fax has her own set of reminders for President Duterte as she leaves Philippine soil. According to the Philippine Star, Fox says President Duterte should start listening and acting on the plight of urban poor, farmers, workers, and indigenous people and not just listen to the concerns of the military and business people. As for the supporters Fox leaves behind, this reminder to continue the work rings loud and clear. Sister, pagalis mo hindi natatapos ang laban. Masama ba ang magsilbis sa bayan, sa mga magsasaka, manggagawang bukid, sa mga lumad, mga katutubo? Walang masama doon. Tuloy talaga namin ang laban kahit aalis man siya, kahit saan man siya magpunta. Doon pa rin niya gagawin yung mission niya at hindi mamamatay, mamatay ang mission niya dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi andito kami, buhay kami at maraming mga kabataan na susunod sa kanya. Fox meanwhile called on the Australian government to stand up to President Duterte. She criticized what she called a reign of terror, of impunity and of tyranny. She tells The Guardian that Australia should start being responsible for what's happening here in the Philippines. She narrates how her years of working with peasants led her to document a lot of stories about extrajudicial killings, people detained over trumped-up charges, torture, and other human rights abuses. Reporting for News 5, I am Jen Kalimon, and we are One News.